What's up guys, hope everybody's doing well. Uh, I just want to show you a project that I've been working on the last couple days here. Uh, I got a 3D printer, so it's a lot to learn about it. And I've been designing some files, so let's check it out. Alright, here it is. Longer Orange 30. It's a resin printer. So there's a pool of resin in here. And there's an LCD screen underneath it. The UV light cures the resin. Uh, this plate goes down in there attaches to the cured part and it slowly comes up and it keeps curing layers uh, so this is what I designed because I got about a hundred semi trailers with all busted out jacks on them so I designed one of them and then I'm building a bunch of flat cars with for the semi trailers to go on so I needed the plate that they mount to and everything and the stand I mean it's not super accurate but I just kind of drew them up and it turned out all right so this will go on top of the stand there uh, and then we can probably look at the file we have so these are all supports these gray pieces that's so that you can it'll build up like that um, so you can see we got a set of the plates and the stands and then I had an empty spot so I put another jack in there this is the third version of the jack that I've built so far. I'll show you the other two. Alright, here's the first version. So you can see it's a little fine. The details are too fine. Uh, the plate was a little small for the base there. So they didn't all stick on. Some of them popped off. And then I didn't have enough supports on the bottom. So we got every piece has these curves on them. Alright, here is version 2. It's a lot cleaner looking. I add a little more detail on the side with the, uh, the drive shaft for the crank uh, for up and down. I thickened everything up a little bit as you can see here. It just printed a lot better uh, than the first version. Here's another second version one but you can see what it prints like. So it's got supports, and then underneath you got more supports. So this one did pop off too, but uh, that's why I'm doing version 3 right now. And uh, let's go get that started. Alright, so this file is on the USB drive that's plugged into here. As you can see on the screen here, it looks about right. So it took an hour and a half. And we'll get started. Yeah. There. So now this plate's going to lower into the resin. And it'll start printing. It's really nothing to see until it starts getting to a certain height. Um, but we don't really get tall enough to see anything. So once it's done, it'll come out. And we'll uh, keep an eye out here. These ones we lost in there. But you can see most of them worked. So now we gotta scrape them off through here. This gets the excess liquid resin. Cleans it up a little bit. Um, soak and then uh, scrub with a toothbrush. Alright, so I took some of them out of the uh, supports here, 
this is the new jack stand as you can tell it's probably the best one so far on the ends there those little square pieces I upgraded that a little bit so they'd stay on there better the other ones were kind of falling off into the as they're being made they weren't sticking very well uh, but they just got cleaned up a little more and it turned out alright and then these are the stands now they kind of have a bowed base so I think next round they'll probably make them a little thicker maybe some more supports on the bottom and then I gotta clean up the supports on the inside here still as you can tell and then uh, yeah, so we'll go test these out see what they look like now they're not cured yet I didn't have a chance to put them on the sun it got dark and I don't have my UV light yet so but these ones were outside in the sun so you can kind of tell the actual color difference these ones are a little more darker gray this one's still a little a little soft and flexible it's hard to tell but so yeah let's go see what they look like on some trucks all right so yeah there's really it's not great this is the first run I did of these I think the uprights are way too thin looking and then obviously the base needs to be quite a bit thicker it just got it's got a little bow to it and it's not very solid but that's all right it's cheap I can make more and then this one fits on there real nice looks pretty good stands real level so um, I designed it so that the weight would be on the actual upright here uh, and there's a hole in there and that fits in there pretty good and then these are just a little bit off the ground but you can't really tell but that way it won't shift so it might be a little too tall it's hard to tell but it's all right I can make some upgrades so all right guys hope you enjoyed the video uh, 3d printing is something completely new to me um, hopefully it can help me with some projects in the future so Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.